If you're struggling to get plays on Spotify, I got something quick and easy that you can do to get plays right now and keep getting plays in the future. Check it out. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you something quick and easy that I started doing a couple months ago to help me get plays through some of my tracks with Spotify. So before I get into it, I just want to say thank you so much for this year for the support. It's been amazing. If you like stuff like this, music related, uh, studio production gear related, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will be posting a lot more in the coming year. All right, so this is a playlist that I created a couple months ago. As you can see at the time of when I'm filming this, I have about 615 followers, which might not seem like a lot in terms of numbers compared to other big playlists, but keep in mind that I just started it and we'll go behind the scenes on plays that I'm getting with tracks that I have out here. So just in this playlist alone, I have about 10 tracks and they're all within this genre of chill, DDM, tropical style, whatever the case, but what you can do is just take the same concept that I'm gonna show you and build your own genre, your own base. So I jumped on this no copyright music making a couple months ago and I was able to make a, a ton of tracks within a short period of time and so I just decided to create this playlist. All right, so creating a playlist is really simple on Spotify. I, I, don't, I probably don't have to explain it to you guys too much, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. Go to create playlist or a new playlist down there at the bottom left. Test playlist. Okay. And then you can choose an image. I'm not going to do it right now. So yeah, there you go. That's pretty much the playlist here. And the the trick to get the, the followers though came with adding songs within the genre that you uh, created. So I wouldn't necessarily create a playlist like Beatwalkers Mix or something like, that. like I do have one called the mix, but it's it's my playlist. I would create something around a genre or around uh, something that people can get behind or follow, maybe a movie or a soundtrack, something of that sort. That's how you get the followers. So, so keep that in mind when creating this. So this would have to be a specific genre, specific source, like the no copyright thing that I did. That helped out a lot. So here I would just obviously go add a playlist, test playlist. We'll go back to the test playlist and there it is. So from here, I would just continue to add not only the tracks that I think would fit the genre, but also other tracks within that genre. That'll help people find the playlist because if people come to your playlist and only have your songs and they don't know the songs, they're not really going to want to follow the playlist. So there's some different tricks you can use to try to get people to follow. So the first thing you want to do is post it on all your social medias, you know, ask your friends to follow, whatever the case, those first couple of followers are pretty crucial to the building block of it. And then keep adding tracks daily is another big one that helped me. So the no copyright chill right now has about 78 songs, which really isn't a lot when you think about it, so, but I was adding a couple songs here and there. And as you can see, just the dates of me adding songs. Okay, so that's enough about the playlist. Now let's get into the numbers of how this actually helped me. All right, so now let's get into the numbers of how this actually helped me and how it would help you with your music. So as you can see, this is gonna show me, this is my artist profile. So you should know what this already looks like. And then this is my music. I went straight to playlists because I want to show you the playlist and how it's doing and how it's performing. So these are just Spotify's playlists that are generated for you. I do have an editorial from this major laser and I'll show you what's unique about that one right there compared to the one that I created. So as you can see, my number one playlist created by me, the listener is the one that I showed you the no copyright chilled. And just in this month, last 28 days, it's got me about 9,000 plays, which is pretty significant because it compares to the biggest playlist that I'm in, which is this is Major Laser, got 8.4 thousand. And what's also unique is I was able to get other people to create playlists with the tracks with my other songs 
that are within that playlist. So you kind of have now like a snowball effect of, you know, people now find your music. They want to save it or whatever the case. So as you can see, here's all the songs and here's a breakdown of every song, which has given me quite a bit of plays just in the past month. And you can see here's some other ones that have created playlists out of it. So, yeah. So from here, you just snowball and then you um, can start gathering plays in other places and really, really help you out. So in terms of revenue or money, I haven't built up too much of a resume with these tracks so far, but I'll just show you the stats in general, which kind of speak for itself. So June is when the tracks release, I think around July or August timeframe, or maybe here I created it. I can't remember, but as you can see, and the plays are just increasing month by month and who knows, maybe I'll do a continuation to this to see how long, you know, or to see what kind of increase I can get. But my goal right now and what your goal should be is try to create um, music surrounding certain genres that you can create a playlist for. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep building, keep adding my new music to this playlist, which would really, really help along with creating some other ones to help boost the genres that I haven't hit so far, if that makes sense. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can get some plays. With that, if you do have a no copyright track that fits within that genre of chill DDM, send it over to me, I'll add it in, no problem. If you want any help on suggestions of a song that you might have that you don't know what genre or what field it might fit into, let me know in the comments shoot me a DM on Instagram. All that's in the description below. Come into my Discord, chat with me a little bit. So yeah, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and I will be coming out with a lot more videos surrounding music in the future. Until then, I will see you next time. Later, guys. Yeah.